Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have any sacred stone. All right, all right. We're talking about schedules. <laughs> yep, that's what we're doing. Um, I finally, uh, finally hammered one down. Uh, I sat down this weekend and um, there's stuff that I have to do every day and I um, set up a new uh, two-day schedule to where I'm rotating what I'm doing uh, beforehand. I brought in all of the product, I sorted all of the product, and I went through every stage of the product one by one until everything was completely done. Um, what that did was backlogged every step of the process. So um, when it came in, we did hundreds of them, photograph hundreds of them, would have to draft hundreds of them, and then try to release hundreds of them. So although it sounds good, um, it's uh, very easy to fall behind uh, on that process. And the problem being, um, we weren't releasing stuff every day. Um, I have been trying extremely hard within the past, I would say it's been three weeks now, this might be our fourth week of releasing stuff every day. And um, for how of a slump it, it sure has felt, um, things are moving up. So there may be some truth behind it, there may not be. Um, if nothing else, it is an absolute good practice to ensure that there is new stuff going in our store every day, all the time. So um, I made a, a simple basic schedule. Uh, this is set up for a week. Um, there's few things that I do every day. And uh, when I wake up in the morning, um, uh, I have to get my children ready for school, as most of you do. And um, so I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. So uh, I even went down to the point of even saying that I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Um, as I wake up, I process all of the um, questions and offers that I get in uh, when I first wake up. And then um, we jump into the day. Uh, they pick up the bus about seven o'clock. Um, I have a little period there that uh, I'm going to keep open for uh, either me or something that has to get done prior to actually starting the schedule. Um, so on our Mondays, every Monday, I um, set up all of my promotions um, for the whole week. So every Monday I always have, I figure out what promotions I'm actually going to run for the whole week and um, get those all together set up and scheduled. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. When one ends, I don't have to turn around and restart it. Every Monday, anything that I run will always end on Monday uh, morning. That way I can start fresh on Monday. And um, I've been doing that for a while now and I've kept that. So that's, that's something I'm definitely gonna keep. Um, after I do that on Mondays, uh, I um, release my unsolds, not all of them. I keep them, um, I keep some in there uh, because I have more than the um, thousand um, free listings and I really hate spending more than that. So um, I keep some in my unsolds all the time and I always sell similar unless there's either some that have uh, a large amount of watchers if I have a large amount of watchers and I am uh, having a better promotion than I did the week before um, I try to release all those as um, relists uh, so that those people get triggered um, as a, a better price so I do that every morning before I even start working. Um, and then I head down here. So about 8.30, I come down here. Um, from now, I have from 8.30 to 10, 
um, every other day I photograph, and then every other day I uh, do my sort and measure, and um, that is going to keep me on that same track all the time to ensure that we have drafts in there and ready to be released at all time. Um, I think it takes, I, I don't know, I did the math. Uh, we did it, I did it on 50, so that's 25 a day. Um, my wife nails it. I think she did 40 last night, so, I mean, and the possibilities of what she can do is endless. <clears throat> so, maybe one day we'll get up to that, but right now, um, we have it set at 15. I would really like to be able to get 15 done every day. That 400 a month is just for us. Um, so, um, I have it set as 50. I'm going to do 50 uh, photographed every other day. And then I'm going to at least sort and measure 50 because I I'm okay with them sitting. I can find other things to do um, in that time frame. Uh, whether it be sourcing. So if I don't have anything uh, on that day to measure and sort, uh, that'll be sourcing day. So I'll go out and source. Uh, I do believe that I'm probably going to try, now that we have bulked up our stores so well, to um, cherry pick through the stuff I get. And um, that doesn't mean that we're going to avoid the bins. Um, it just, we might not go as often Instead of twice a month, we might go once, maybe every two two months. So, and that's just to get that little filler and get. I mean, if you were selling jeans, uh, where we go, I could fill up five carts of jeans every time I went. There's just so many jeans and pants. Um, I did at first, and then pfft, I'm so sick of seeing jeans and pants. <laughs> And, and literally the only reason that it bothers me more than anything is just the amount of measurements that I pre-do before. Um, if you didn't have to measure, that's all I would do. Storing them is so much easier. Packaging them is so much easier. Uh, they fold so crisp every time. I love denim, but man, I hate the sort. Sorting them and, and measuring them just as the pits. So that's my second block. Um, right after lunch, I'm going to run um, the photographing up to like, I think I have it right now to 10. And then um, I do, um, I'm going to do my YouTubes after I take a break, get a bite to eat or whatever. Um, fat guy's got to stay full. And um, we're going to do these because like right now it's 1038. So I'm on schedule, kind of. Um, and then we're going to jump in like 15, 20 minutes, however long it's going to take, into the sort. Um, 11.30, I jump in and I'm going to have lunch. Around 11.30 to 12, my wife gets up so I can see her. We're going to come back down here. Uh, I print, I pick, and pack all my orders from the day before. We get those done. Uh, I take those packages, oh, packages to the post office. Um, which is just down the street, so I walk them at 2. Um, she leaves for work. That way I get to spend time with my wife. Um, pretty much after that, my kids get home. So uh, uh, business kind of takes a backstage, and it's daddy time. So um, I got some set stuff set. Um, for around 7 o'clock, I can kind of do some uh, editing and work um, at 7 uh, for like 45 minutes maybe uh, before everybody goes nuts and uh, is getting ready for bed so then as soon as they go to bed about 9 30 to 10 30 is going to be all system work again so every night at 9 30 to 10 30 i'm going to do everything i can systematic wise to get set up for the next day uh, clean everything up um, i have learned um, to create a list of everything that uh, I need to do and want to do and um, that is the time I can actually work on it uh, for example um, I have the um, YouTube uh, names I don't have a daily vlog or vlog number in each one of them 
I have over 100 out there now. So um, it's time consuming to go back and edit each one of those, but I want to do that. So it's on the list. Um, there's still titles and stuff that have issues uh, about the um, location still at the back and still needs to be up in the front um, on the list. Um, that way, at any point, at any given time that I have free moments, I can pull this list out. And it's stuff that um, isn't immediate issues that need to be addressed. It's stuff that would clean out, help, um, process. I have racks that need to be built for um, ties. Uh, the top of these racks, I want to put 2x4s across the top so that I can put the shoes. It's just stuff that I need to do that isn't immediate, that has to be done, but I don't want to forget. And then that way, if I have any free time, I can look at the list immediately and be able to um, work uh, efficiently on whatever I may need to work on at the time. So um, that's so far. Um, that's, that's the plans. That's what I have. Um, down. Uh, I'm going to print one out every week. I'm going to hang it. I'm going to try to follow it. Uh, I'll tweak it. If I find some tweaks that um, need to be done, I'll make sure I pass it on. Uh, if you guys have any tips of some stuff that you found that you need to do daily or weekly um, that I don't have on mine, please let me know. Um, I definitely know that there is time uh, that I need to start doing some sort of physical inventory uh, that I don't have on my list. I would love to know um, how often do you guys do a, some kind of physical inventory. It doesn't have to be full. It could be a bin. Do you do a bin a day? Do you do a bin a week? Do you ever do an inventory? Um, my biggest concern is myself similar uh, and I have to delete. So there is no way that I have not deleted uh, active listings by accident. So um, that would be awesome to let me know. And if anything that you guys can think that uh, I don't have on there, and uh, I'll feel stupid when I end this thing and go, I should have added that. But uh, I hope this helps. I'll let you know. We're going to pound it out. Um, it gives me some kind of footprint to, to follow, and I'm super excited. Uh, I've been wanting this. I've been telling you guys I've been needing this. Um, this is something in stone that helps me and I'll be able to follow it. And if it doesn't, if I don't do it, it's my own fault because I already have it written down. It's what should be done for the day. So um, till later, guys. Bye. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. And here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.